here, right? From BTVX. This is a little side note off of the topic, but um, R. Kelly's out. Somebody came and got R. Kelly out of jail. Praise God. And I know y'all, man, you may think, like, why is he happy that R. Kelly got out? Because R. Kelly shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Because it's a conspiracy against R. Kelly. And obviously he have fans that are willing to help him. The two girls know their situation and they highly are upset at their parents about the situation. They um they checked Gail a few times. That was that was fucking beautiful. Cause um because Gail was a wishy washy bitch. She will um or sell her people under the bus, just like Oprah, or sell her people under the bus and protect motherfuckers like Woody Allen, Kevin Spacey, Weinstein. I mean, all these motherfuckers. She won't say shit bad about them, but she damn sure will make R. Kelly look like a goddamn demonic, serial fucking pedophile raping motherfucker. Like I said, man, it's not about truth. It's not about who did what. It's about how it's how it's being done. That's what it's about. It has nothing to be about if he's guilty or if he's not guilty. So what they doing are painting the picture for you, so you so it'll sit in your mind that he's guilty before he even go in front of a judge. It's sad, man. But um, yeah, again, R. Kelly is out. It's always better to fight your case from the outside than the inside. Always better. So that's a good thing. Um, let's see what they try and do to him next. Let's see how they're going to try and... Because you know he got a court date coming up. Let's see what they try and do to him next. Let's see if they... Um, what kind of um, curveball they're going to throw at him. I mean, I know it's going to be something. And... Uh, you know, that's a good thing that he, uh, that somebody came and got him out, man. Whoever did that needs to stay anonymous. They need to stay low-key. Because uh, as soon as the media find out, they're going to try and discredit this person and dig in this person's background and find out what this person done done or how he's connected to R. Kelly or her connected to R. Kelly. So I would just, I would just make it um, anonymous if I was him. So uh, you don't have to worry about nothing like that. Because obviously these motherfuckers are playing dirty. You can see that. That's, that's just facts. They playing fucking dirty. You know? This man, people say, why he going this, uh, why he going to interview in the first place? Why he going to interview and do all that shit? Well, he went on the interview because uh, he wanted to, first he wanted to speak his truth. I mean, you can't just lay down and let people stab you up without doing something. So what the media did was make it seem like they was helping him, letting him speak his truth, but it, it, but it was a goddamn interrogation. It turned out to be a fucking interrogation. Same shit with Michael Jackson when that dude, um, um, Berche or whatever his name was, um, played Michael Jackson for that um, video, that interview that he did. It made him look all fucking pedophilic. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, I said it. Um... But, um, yeah, make him look like he just a fucking pedophile of Neverland. Like, come on, man. But, yeah, man, R. Kelly's out. So, we'll see what happens and what they do from here. You know, y'all stay blessed and keep y'all 